Gosh, don't scratch your eyes so hard, little kitty. Kitty see world. Oh, I understand. Those are nothing but eye floaters. Duh, please explain. <laughs> sure. Hey friends, so in today's episode, let us explore these tiny blobs known as the floaters and see what causes them. Zoom in! As we age, some of us start to notice few tiny transparent worm-like blobs swimming across our field of vision. And there is a possibility that you must be seeing them right now while darting your eyes. But as you try to focus on them, they seem to disappear just to reappear when you move your eyes again. Well, these squiggly lines or spots are a pretty common phenomenon called eye floaters, scientifically known as Muscae voluntantes, which means flying flies in Latin. But before you panic and start rubbing your eyes, let me tell you that they aren't actually worms flies or any living microbes in your eye, but a technical bug or biological glitch occurring inside your eyeballs. Yes, these floaters are tiny objects that cast a shadow on the retina, which is the light sensitive tissue responsible for receiving and organizing visual information. I know what you are thinking, but how did these tiny objects enter the eyeball in the first place? Well, floaters are not outsiders, but made of things already present in your eyeballs, such as red blood cells, clumps of proteins, and bits of tissue swimming in the vitreous humor, the gel-like liquid that fills the eyeballs. So when you move your eyes, these particles drift along, thus creating an illusion of worms in your eyes. And the closer they get to the retina, the clearer you see them. But the vital question is, what causes these floaters? Well, there are multiple reasons behind their occurrence and the most common one is aging. You see, the cells of our cornea recycle just like our skin cells do. So, as these cells come off the internal tissues of the cornea and proceed to drain out, sometimes they tend to float in the aqueous humor, the liquid substance that fills the space behind your cornea. And while swimming in this liquid pool, they obstruct the light normally entering the eye. This obstruction manifests itself as blurry grey objects, typically observed by adults over 50. Another factor responsible for floaters can be the changes in the jelly-like substance, vitreous humor, that begin to shrink and break down, creating clumps that cast a shadow on the retina. Apart from these age-related issues, you are more likely to get floaters if your eyes have been injured or inflamed, or you are nearsighted, have diabetes, or have had surgery for cataracts. Although floaters are not usually harmful and our brain learns to ignore them. However, if you notice large floaters causing difficulty in your vision, then it could be a sign of a more severe problem. So in that case, see your doctor ASAP. Trivia time! Did you know, in some cases, eye floaters can be so dense and numerous that they might impair the vision of an individual? Yes, in such a case, the person will need to undergo a surgery called a vitrectomy. This involves removing the vitreous gel from the eye and replacing it with a saline solution. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, 
It's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Oh, never mind.